Greetings, humans and fellow fairy creatures, and oh my god, it feels so good to be back. Oh, I, I was gone. God damn, I was gone longer than I was expecting to be gone. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you why. So, the last stream that I did was a Final Fantasy X stream back when Devin was still visiting me. And uh, you may remember, there's um one of the Final Fantasy X streams that we did. My computer just completely just shut off and then rebooted itself and it, it had been doing that you know a, a couple times like over the past couple months before that that occurred and so I thought and eh, you know maybe maybe I need a new PSU but um I figure I wasn't gonna really do anything about it like I, it wasn't it wasn't enough of a problem for me to think like oh, oh like I should probably take it in and get it fixed. But um anyway, so Devin goes back home. Thanksgiving weekend is the week after he leaves, so I wasn't streaming that week. So I had this plan to, to stream all these cool games. I, I was gonna play Twilight Princess, I was gonna play Radio Stories, I was gonna play the Simpsons Road Rage for uh, Shovelware Sunday. Um, and then one morning, I wake up, I go to turn on my computer, and then it short circuits, and then it just turns off. So I go to, I go, oh shit. So I go to turn it on again, it doesn't turn on. Oh fuck. Now it's a problem, now I gotta take it in. And uh, I got a three-year warranty on this. I got this back in 2021, so the, the three-year warranty was still valid. And um, so I, I contacted Main Gear, the manufacturer, and I was just like, yeah, it, it, just, it won't turn on. And um, they said, well, like, try, is it plugged into a power strip? And I'm like, yes, it's plugged into a power strip. And they're like, well, try plugging it into... Um, Try plugging it into the wall and see if that works. So um, I did. I, I took it out of the power strip and I plugged it into the wall. It still wouldn't turn on. So um, they're like, yeah, it's probably the PSU. Uh, just uh, since it is covered under your warranty, you can send it in and get it fixed. And we'll cover the repair costs and the, the shipping costs to send it back. But you have to pay for the shipping to us. So that cost me uh, about $81, a little bit over. So that's money I'm never getting back. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got hot chocolate today. No alcohol. Just some nice hot chocolate because it's cold as fuck outside. So um, it gets there. They're, they're running some stress tests and stuff like that. They, they said it turned on just fine for them. And they're like, yeah, so like we, we turned it on. It's, it seems to be working just fine. And we're running some stress tests. No, no issues here. Um, but we want to make sure that you're satisfied with our result before we send it back to you. So we're going to call you again tomorrow and sort of figure out where to go from there. And then the next day when they're supposed to call me to say like, yeah, this is what we did. They had just sent it back. They, they mailed it back to me. And I was just like, oh, I mean, oh, okay, I guess. Hey, Devin. Hey, Cat. Sorry, I forgot to say hi to you, Devin. I knew that you were there. I saw you. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah. They sent it back to me. I'm like, well, I mean, they did say that they didn't see any issues, but, like, I'm worried about getting it back and just having, you know, the same problem where I, I can't turn it on. So, um, I got it back, and surprisingly, it, it does turn on. And, um, I have it plugged into the wall now. It's not plugged into the power strip anymore. And, you know, I, I never did figure out what was wrong with it. But if I could take an educated guess, my assumption would be that since I had the computer plugged into the power strip and this, like, little 10 terabyte hard drive that, uh, the t external hard drive that uh, has to be plugged into like a power supply. I had that plugged into the power strip as well. So I think the surge protector just kind of uh, tried to protect my computer from itself. 
and refused to turn on, and why it wouldn't turn on even when I plugged it into the wall was... I don't know. Maybe it was just so overwhelmed from being plugged into the same power strip as the hard drive. That's what happened. Or, you know, maybe it just needed a week vacation at Rancho Relaxo for computers. Who knows? Shadow knows. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're back. I'm back to streaming. Hopefully there will be no more issues, either with the computer shutting off or with the internet. I fixed the internet issue, and you, uh, you know what it was? I just got an ethernet cable. Just an ethernet cable. So, I mean, like, I have pretty fast internet, so there was no reason. And the, the, the router is, like, literally right there. I could touch it. I'm touching it right now. So, you know, the fact that it, if it, when they try to say, oh, is, uh, is your router too far away from the computer? No, it's literally right next to it. And I have the fastest internet. So I think it was a combination of like a VPN, using a VPN and uh, not using an ethernet cable. So yeah. That's my little TED talk. Let's uh, let's play some Radiata story, shall we? Uh, you guys have been waiting seven whole minutes for it. And I made a little bit of a change to my setup. As you can see, I have this like interesting little border here. Little Algandarzi border, and I changed the chat so that it, uh, messages in the chat don't, uh, they're not there indefinitely. Um, they'll just, they'll, they'll be there for a second and then they'll disappear after like 15 seconds or so. Sort of one of my New Year's resolutions. Stop the music. That's, uh, there we go. So we're playing this in widescreen mode now. Maybe I should turn the game up a little bit. Can you guys hear it okay? Anyway, so it's been a whole month since I last streamed. And uh, we had Thanksgiving. What did you guys do for Thanksgiving? Well, I mean, if you're, you celebrate the American Thanksgiving, I know the Canadians, they celebrate theirs mid-October. So, there's this long past. Shit. Got a bug in my throat. Um. Sounds good on your end? Okay. Went to your grandma's place, ate food, did a family get-together where I am, so food galore and seeing family. That's pretty cool. I had a little bit of a misadventure for my Thanksgiving adventure for this year. So me and my dad were going to go out to, uh, to Ohio to see my family. And things have been a little bit... I hesitate to say the word strained, but like, there's been two deaths in the family since the last Thanksgiving. My uncle died last December, and then my aunt, she died this uh, past September. So I've got an uncle who has lost his wife, and then I have a, an aunt who lost his lost her husband. So um, the, the uncle... Uh, normally, Thanksgiving would have been held at his house, so I have to go to, uh, I forgot I have to go to Wind Valley. Um, so Thanksgiving would normally be held at his house, but since he's gone and, you know, his wife is still grieving his widow, um, his son and his wife are hosting Thanksgiving at their house. And then there was another Thanksgiving dinner that was at my grandma's house. And my uncle, who lost his wife this past September, he's living with uh, my grandma right now. So, like, there was the Thanksgiving at my grandma's house, and then there was the Thanksgiving at my cousin's house. And I, I went to the one at my cousin's house. My dad went to the one at my grandma's house. I 
think, I think Wind Valley's out this way. Yes. But on our way there, the transmission on my dad's van went out. And um, we, since I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, and uh, my dad would prefer to leave like in the middle of the day, he didn't want to leave after my doctor's appointment. Yes! I should probably do the kill. And you know what, I'll, I'll just let my yes! party members fight. So we ended up leaving in the middle of the day on Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, which is a huge travel day. It's the worst day to to, to travel anywhere. And of course, traffic was really bad, but you know, what can you do? Um, but about maybe 75, 65 miles out, the, uh, the van broke down, transmission went out. And so my dad has AAA, we both have AAA. And um, we called them, and unfortunately, yes! since it's like a big travel day, there was no towing company that was willing to tow us all the way back to the city, because there's a certain mechanic in the city that my dad prefers to go to, but he knows him, he's honest. They're like, well, we'll tow you to like this this uh, repair shop that's like two miles away and like they may or not, it may not be scummy who knows they might try to up upsell you on stuff that you don't even need and my dad's like no i i want to go to this mechanic and and if it's a matter of paying the, the tow truck driver extra then i'll do it but um we got, we got assigned to some tow truck driver and they said like, oh yeah, we'll be there in like 30 minutes. And then like 30, after 30, 30 or 30, or 30 to 45 minutes pass and they didn't show up. We, uh, we called the, the company, the tow truck company that, uh, had been assigned to us and we're just like, uh, hey, yeah, could we get like an ETA on, on your arrival? And they're like, oh, actually, um, like we, we, uh. What was it that they said? They had some really bullshit excuse for not picking us up. They were like, oh, uh, like the, uh, the, the request was dropped and we, we lost your number so we couldn't call you back. It's just like, that's bullshit. Everybody has caller ID nowadays. And if you had lost our number, what was stopping you from contacting AAA and getting the number from them? To say, hey, yeah, we lost this client's phone number. Can you give it to us so we can tell them that we're not going to pick them up? So, we waited around for like an hour. We're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. The closest thing nearby was a gas station and a Denny's, so we went to the Denny's. And it ate for a little bit. And uh, ultimately, we didn't even get a tow through AAA. My dad called the mechanic, and the mechanic made some phone calls on his behalf. Just like calling around, seeing who would be willing to pick us up. Uh, he, he eventually did find a, um, a tow driver that was willing to pick us up and take us to where we need to go. Yes! And uh, I had to pay for it out of pocket, but uh, I had to send in a little reimbursement form or re reimbursement request to AAA, being like, hey, yeah, like I paid for this uh, this tow out of pocket because that stupid tow company that lost our number and dropped our request couldn't be fucking ours to do their do their goddamn job so uh yeah pay for this please it cost me over three hundred dollars i need that money so yeah that was not fun but you know We got to go back home for a little bit, take like a three hour nap, and then we drove back out to my uh, extended families in the morning, like early in the morning on Thanksgiving. I keep forgetting that... Uh, Is 
Zane doesn't move as fast in battle. He's very slow. Yes! Yes! I don't know, it's just like, that's kind of what pisses me off. It's like people want money, but they don't want to do the, the work for it. It's just like, oh yeah, like, we'd love to pick you up, but oh, wait, we don't actually want to take you to where you need to go. But we want your money. But we actually don't want to do anything for you. Yeah, fuck you. I'm rambling. Yes! Yeah, that's just, that was yes! the holidays in a nutshell. On to topic yes! number two. Um. Topic number two. What are you guys doing for Christmas? I'm gonna have my mom come over. Cause like, I don't really see her that often. I got some ham and like a bunch of potato pancakes, the frozen ones. Because I'm too lazy to make fresh ones. Maybe yes! some like vegetables and things like that. Yes! Oh no! Electric wolf. Right. Electric boogaloo. Right. Gonna go home and see my mom and Sibs for brunch and then my dad and grandma right. for dinner. Cool. Sounds like a fun time. I want to grind a little bit before I go to see Saifid. Because although I have Derek and Achilles. Um, and they are strong characters. I I would feel a lot more confident facing Saifid. With uh. Oh. I do have time to wander around. Saifid can wait. I'll feel a lot more... Comfortable. Oh. Knowing that they're a little more leveled up and ready. Revved up and ready to go. Mostly just chilling. Yeah, that sounds fun. I think my Christmas will be a little more chill. No pun to the weather, which has been way colder when I... Yeah. We got probably our second snow of the season uh, yesterday. It's finally starting to snow. But even then, it's just a dusting. Yes. My New Year's plans aren't that spectacular. I have to work. We got a show on New Year's Eve and the night before. And it's a hippie show, which is even worse. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not Rod Tough Girls in the Bench Press. Oh. I don't work it. Oh, come on, Zane. I mean, Jack or Jack Zane. Please. want to go anywhere. I definitely don't have my bolt yet. Do I have a train device? I do not. I need to get that. I mean, to be honest, I, I feel like I would rather deal with, like, some shitty cover band that just, you know, doesn't really play anything original than to deal with another hippie band. Because we've had... Uh, what was it? It was like... We've had three... Actually, no, two, two or three hippie bands the past 
month or so. And they're not the young hippies, they're the old hippies that don't really realize that they can't party as hard. They can't really get away with partying as hard as they used to when they're young. And so... Wind Dragon, he's a real violent beast. Can I kick you? Uh, he's dead. I killed him. Some guy had a heart attack at one of the shows. There was a guy in the audience, and then the last show that we had, the uh, the drummer had some sort of like medical emergency and had to be escorted off stage. It's just like there comes a point where you just have to except that you, you can't, you can't party hard anymore. Got stuck in a red light that wouldn't change. She must have been covered. Oh. That sucks. I know that those sensors can, um... Like, if you're driving a motorcycle... Oh, no. Zane can't move. It doesn't always pick it up if you're driving a motorcycle or some sort of smaller vehicle. Hey D, how are you? How is how is everyone? Everyone that's paying attention. How could this be? Oh no. I I killed him! when I think had a camera sensor because my car should have triggered the ground sensor. Yeah. I don't really know how that technology works. It was like a gin or something, which I'm not going to use because I'm using uh, the hand of Zane. No way. Oh my God. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Yes. Got to stock up. That's okay. I'll grind and then I'll go back, stock up, save. But I was planning to go back and save yes. anyway. Zane, you're so slow. These little Easter Island heads. All of them that I can. I can kick you. Hardcore working, but wanting to be here in support. Oh, great. Right, cool. Thank you so much, Deet. Real MVP. And I was talking to uh, Floyd Mason the other day. Just about how no one really, none of us really have time to really stream or watch other people stream. So, any works are appreciated. Oops. of the beast. I, I kind of feel bad for saying this, but like I kind of miss when we were in lockdown period. And and I get that I'm coming from like a privileged perspective because I was like out of work and I was getting unemployment. And I didn't have I wasn't an an, an an essential worker. So I didn't I go into work. But like I just miss I mean, when everyone yes! we're living in this 
introvert wonderland. He's dying. Should go back and uh Like I miss having more time to stream, having more time to watch people stream. You miss it too, yeah. It did suck though, when you had to go back. Like honestly, like they they really, they, they, they did you dirty, Catherine. Like with like making you do both the in-person and the virtual shit. Like, I definitely need to go back and heal. Yes! Yes! It was really kind of like I, obviously it wasn't my situation, but like when I would see those posts about like parents bitching about how like like their kid wasn't getting um. They, they weren't getting stimulated enough with uh, the uh, e-learning and, and like the, the, there's like this kid sitting at uh, the kitchen table with a laptop in front of him and he's like slouching in his chair looking all bored and shit. It's just like, oh, look at my poor kid. He's not stimulated enough. This isn't enriching enough. He would be enriched if he was in, if he was actually in school in person. It's just like, no, you idiot. He would have been just as bored as if he was in actual school. Like, you don't realize that kids are bored in school no matter what, whether it's online or in person or whatever. But yeah. yeah. So I got like really close up to the microphone. <laughs> but my kid, my kid is bored. Yeah, of course he's bored. He's at school. Straight plus. All right, I got to go home and heal myself find some way to get back Jeez. the fact that my cat my kid can't see the teacher's face because of face masks is is disruptive to their development it's like, hey well it's only for now it's not forever Had a lot of issues with that, but I won't get into because I'm a little busy at the moment. But yeah, I could say a lot about that. Yeah, for sure. My kid's not being stimulated enough. Alright, time to go home. Are you at our mom's house right now, or... Because I know that... I know that you're... You had plans to go out and see our mom and then go out with, uh, like, Shorto's cousin or something for dinner. No, Wolf. Don't mess with me. I'm low on health. As a parent, I'm going to pretend to be offended. <laughs> Fair enough. Everyone's entitled to be offended about something. That's what I say. And like everyone says like, oh, people are more offended nowadays. But I think people are just as offended. It's just that you now notice everyone's offense because you're hearing about it on Twitter and anybody who's anybody could tweet at any politician or celebrity and say you're canceled. Yes! I'm at Rolling Stones. We're going to dinner at Jordan's cousins in a month. You're Rolling Stones? Is that like a a rest you're at a concert or or I'm confuzzled.
Rolling Stones concert, or is that like a, like a restaurant? The record store. Oh, okay. I don't know if I know of that record store. I know of uh, Reckless Records. Uh... Well, that's the thing though about offense is just like everyone has their own reasons for feeling the way they do about certain things and sometimes those things are valid you know they're it's just like sometimes it's valid sometimes it's petty but you know. i think there comes a point where you have to kind of fig figure out whether a this is like a you problem and be like how you should handle it. Like, okay, this thing pisses me off. Now, is it is it a me problem or is it the, a them problem? If I can manage to get back home without encountering any more any more enemies, that would be great. Oh. And another thing too is, um, I think it's also a matter of just like there are certain things that certain people yes. aren't cool with like um i don't know like i like for example i have this friend and he's just like yeah like i'm i'm pretty much cool with any jokes but i'm not cool with 9 11 jokes because like that it's really close to home with him it's just like you know what that's fair and you know like i'm not offended by 9 11 jokes but you know, I'm not going to, like, knowing that he doesn't like them, I'm not going to, you know, share any 9-11 jokes with him, because I know that that's going to upset him. And just knowing that, like, there's certain, there's certain lines that you can't cross with certain friends. Like, some people don't like, you know, jokes about race or j jokes about orientation or, you know, gender identity or things like that. But that's, that's a whole other issue. I need, I'm offended by spider crabs. Fuck them. <laughs> Why are they like that? Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Spider crabs. Or king crabs. Actually, wait. Are, are spider crabs, are they those, like, big-ass crabs that are in Australia or something? There's some sort of crab that's, like, it's like a species of crab that's really, really big. No, we're not thinking of the same type of crab. What's that big crab? It's like a fucking massive crab. Gotta go. Alright, take care. I'll see you um, tomorrow morning, maybe? What kind of crab is that called? Oops. Sorry. They look like a spider. 
hence the name. Okay. I need to remember which general stores I can buy certain things at. Because I need like a shit ton of healing items and some items that can prevent afflictions, particularly paralyze. Japanese spider crab. I think that's what Devin's talking about. You know what really bothers me? Seals. But like, okay, elephant seals. They're adorable as babies, but when they mature into adults, they look like... So, they, they look like Jabba the Hutt with a Squidward nose. Have you ever seen these guys? Let's see if I can pull, pull, pull something up. And seal. See, like a side by side of like. Baby. Elephant seal, baby. Okay. So this is, uh, this is what a baby elephant seal looks like. Adorable. Cute. Now this is what it looks like as an adult. See what I mean? It's like Jabba the Hutt with a Squidward nose. Oh, don't see that. Welcome. Bye. It's the guy from Star Wars Episode One. Right, exactly, Bode. By the way, welcome. See your first time, first time chatter. Okay, this prevent afflictions. I, you know, I might as well. I know 60 seconds doesn't seem like it's that long, but we got lots of these. Thank you, sir. I think I'm doing a, a pretty good job at spreading the plague. I've already infected a few humans already. Sometimes the cute kids just grow up to be ugly. Well, elephant seals are like the uh, the ugly duckling, but in reverse. Thank you very oh wait, much. I want I, I want to sell my. Uh, Welcome. I want to sell some of my uh, herb extracts. I don't need these. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Maybe I'll buy more welcome. herb extract S. Give me all the herb. I, I have to be the healer for the party because I don't... I want these two guys in my party, 
but I also want to leave a space for Dynas when he when he joins. I got the money. Thank you very much. Actually, where? Hang on. Where do I get the uh, training device? Her dogs know the training device for Radia stories. Waldo's general store, okay. Where's Waldo? This isn't it, is it? No, that's Faye General Store. <sighs> Have you ever tried entering the City of Flowers early? Um Oh, like, you know, like hacking my way in? I have um I have done that, yeah. And, uh, you can actually talk to Zane. Um, he has, like, a little dialogue. Because if you remember, like, the only times that you can talk to Zane, like, actually go up and talk to him is when he's at Port Valencia. Out of my way, Eon. That's it. That's records. Um, but if you, um, if you hack your way into the City of Flowers before the path split, and you go talk to Zane, he, like, says some stuff about how humans used to be allowed inside the City of Flowers, and, uh, you know, humans forget the crimes that they commit, and all that good stuff. Does it skip story forward, or the flags are not set? It doesn't skip the story, because the stories are... I don't really know how to describe it. It's, uh... Like, there, there are certain stories aren't really triggered by location necessarily. There's, they have their own triggers, if that makes sense. I, I, I suck at explaining. If, if James were here, he, he kind of probably be able to explain it. But um, basically, what happens if you enter the Steve Flowers early is there's light elves in there. And you can interact with them and stuff like that. And I think they just kind of interact with you the same way that they would have interacted with you uh, after after you uh, you've captured Fort Helensia and everything. That is. I need to find Waldo General Store. For speedrunning purposes, we were wondering if it was possible to skip forward out of bounds and all. Yeah, I don't, um... I feel like... Out of bounds... Like, wouldn't... Doesn't really work too well with Radia stories. I know that... There's not a whole lot of ways that you can... I don't know. There's not a whole whole ways that you can, like exploit glitches in Radiata stories to force progression. All of the speedruns of this game that I've seen, they, uh... I gotta find out where that general store is. Oh, it's in the other town. All of the speedruns that I've seen of this game basically their whole strategy is like avoid enemy encounters with like low level enemies just like only fight a select few high level enemies like i don't know it's like this whole thing where they sorry i'm like a little bit distracted i want to find that general store
like you don't want to waste too much time with enemy encounters, but you do you don't want to be too underleveled. So you have to really pick your battles wisely. But out of bound was found a while ago and we never managed to utilize it. Oh. Like where where did you manage to go out of bounds? I sure hope I have enough money. Can I help you? I want that training device. Do I have money? Do I have the money for it? I do! Yeah, boy! It cost me a pretty penny, but that's okay. Money has- money is meant to be spent. It's saved. all my money. I don't need our backtrack max yet. So you know these guards that block progression and are forced to run back? Like at Fort Hill and Sierra City of Flowers, you can get pushed out of the road. Oh, that's interesting. It's pretty cool. So you basically just have to like keep going back to them until you get pushed totally away. Or is there a certain angle that you have to hit it? You know what? I don't really need these. Thank you. I think this should be enough. Enough stuff for me. Just gonna say screwed and go to Safed. I think you keep running back until it glitches. I'll try to find a link of the video. Okay, cool. something really quick. I want to utilize my berries. Where's my berries? Strength berry. I am strong, man. Maybe I'll take a... Hey, fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna go to save it and give him a chance. Give him a little run. Oh, oh yeah. I have to go the other way. if you get out of bounds in a spot and get around the walls in the final boss area. Maybe. I mean, at least from my experience with messing around with the prototype and um, like using cheat engine and stuff like that, you can go pretty much anywhere you want, but it's not going to necessarily trigger a cutscene. So like, if I wanted to right now, I could probably warp myself to this to the gold dragon's castle. It's not going to trigger any sort of cutscene. Because I haven't... There's certain... Um, I don't know if I could, like, point... Find a way, but there's, like, certain... Like, story cues, I guess. Like, the, the cutscenes have their own 
like category and code and stuff like that. There's something that like certain things that trigger those. So if you haven't completed the like cutscene A, cutscene B is not going to play. Or if you haven't done X, Y, and Z, then cutscene B is not going to play. Hello, tree. out of it though. That's okay. Come here. Gonna grind on you. Easy enemy. Yes. Derek, you're insane. Look at his hair. I will hydrate while I let Achilles and Derek do all the work for me. Took a big sip just for you, Devin. I'm hoping that I can manage to get I can manage to defeat Safed in just one try. We'll see. We will see. In fact, hang on. Let's expedite this. Speed it up just a little bit. Go, Zane, go! Whoops. Went the wrong way. I, I always do that. Oh my gosh. Eat a bean. Oh no! God damn you. All right, um, actually, oh, hang on, hang on a second. Um, I'm really, I mean, I'll give you the choice, but, um, oh! I have a new type of bean that's, uh, available if you guys want to choose it. So, obviously, we have, like, the regular, like, spicy beans, and then the regular bean boozled. But, uh, courtesy of Catherine... She gave me these uh, little birdie bots. Birdie bots every flavor bean. So, uh, I mean, it's up to you. I can choose. I, I can do one of the, like, spicy beans or the bean boozled, or I can try these new birdie bots. It's got a little golden snitch on it. This was from Mila's birthday party. I'm gonna stick my little snitch right here right here on my computer yeah there we go look whoop here's my birdie bot uh, not not my birdie bot my uh, golden snitch is there a gross bean in this one um i mean i think that's kind of the the whole point of birdie bots is that like Oh, here we go. 
Yeah, they do. Okay, so here's the, the flavors that we have to choose from, or, you know, that I could potentially get. There's, um... Hold on. Let me pull this up to white. This is, uh, grass, green apple, marshmallow, rotten egg, sausage, lemon, soap, tutti frutti, vomit, and watermelon. So we're gonna do the Harry Potter bean. Alright, cool. Sounds like a plan. I'm actually really glad that you chose uh, Bean Boozle because I, I wanted an excuse. Yeah, there's a sausage one, but I, I'm not going to choose sausage. I'm just going to choose randomly. Okay, so this one is red. So this is... I don't even... Wait. Oh, hang on. There's more. There's uh, earwax, earthworm, dirt, cinnamon, cherry, candy... Candy floss, booger, blueberry, black pepper, and what is this? They put like black text on on red background, so that's kind of stupid. I don't know. Focus. Can't read it. Something, but banana. I think that is. So this one's red. So it's probably cherry or cinnamon or earthworm. Oh, this one's cherry. Yay. I win. But yeah. They should have put it like white text uh, or something. Yeah, like, how can you read that? No pain for me. No pain, just cherry. There is no pain in this world. Only cherry. And they see secretly don't like cherry. Cherry is fine. I don't have a problem with it. I feel like I still need to like adjust this. Whoop. There we go. Oh no, it's nighttime. I want this cutscene to play out in daytime. Can't always get everything you want. Unless. more grinding. Just a little bit. I'm gonna burn your bones. You go, Achilles. Yes! 
kicking my ass. Getting his ass kicked. Yes. A bad idea. Yes. Okay, fine. Let's go to save it. Come on, come on. Wait, is there a... There's a treasure chest over there. Oh, wait, shit. Anyway, so, what are you guys up to right now? Are you eating dinner? Have you eaten dinner? This is it. Oh. Be careful, he can use the power of the wind. Oh. Oh. How could this be? Oh, please, stop it. Here we go. Drinking a beer and reading a book. Is that it? Jack! Are you okay, General? You! What do you think you're doing? You're not needed. Tasking and working on a project. You're gonna need all the help you can get! Watching a stream and reading. Fool. This is no place for Everyone's the reading. What? Listen, you! Oh dear. Already fighting among yourselves? There's just no end to human arrogance. Arrogance? The non-humans are the arrogant ones. It is you who send the dragons against us. Send the dragons? You think we are the masters of Lord Saifin? <laughs> your arrogance is exceeded only by your ignorance. The humans twist and upset the order of the world for their own profit and gain. They spread Algandars throughout the world. They make slaves of the dwarves. Yet you believe we bring the dragons? Idiots! Hold your tongue! <laughs> You'll be sorry. Cross, control yourself! A general. They wiped out my entire brigade. The beasts shall pay. We can't back down now. Your soldiers are dead because they attacked first. Lord Saifin was only responding in kind. The dragon is far wiser. Than like in the deleted cutscene. No creature is more like the the um the version of this cutscene that was dragon. deleted. Gil is um that which is right. killed by being shot by arrows. Just like if three arrows true, that just come out of nowhere. always pick on us humans? The Earth Dragon showed up and sided with the dwarves, right? Yes, of course. So then tell me, why do the dragons always treat us as enemies? The arrogance of humans pollutes this world. Eventually, it will destroy it. The dragon's duty is to preserve the cosmic order. To do that, they must purge the world of all humans. 
What the heck is that? No matter what we do, the dragons will attack us? It's a fate you humans bring upon yourselves. Extinction is the reward that you reap from your deeds. Good. I've heard enough of this. We're wasting our time with these questions. If it stands as an enemy before us, we'll cut it down. Prepare to die, dragon. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at you! And all the deluded human fools! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see soon enough who's deluded. The point of my sword will settle the matter. Oh, all this banter. Oh, I don't think so, you fool. You are the most ignorant of them all. What? You dare speak against Cross The first time that I played this game, knights? and I saw this cutscene, this was way, probably okay? one of the most entertaining cutscenes. Because you've got Gil, who's like super prissy. What? And then you got Cross, who's super be? prissy. And then they're just going at each other. Huh? Damn you! You cursed human! Two Why? arrogant assholes calling each other arrogant. The beast is showing its true nature. Go to hell! It's another thing, too, with the delete oh. cutscene. Like. To be fair, like, Cross doesn't even say anything to Gil that provokes him to do that little tornado thing. He yeah, just does it randomly. To the front. Here they come. Completely unprovoked. I just joins my party. Yay, I got Dias. Alright, I'm about to make your entire day, Gil. Yes! Alright, Lord Sapid. Oh, God, a command ability. I should probably oh you know, know what I should do. Sorry, hand of Zane, you're uh I'm gonna use Elven power for right now. Because I need I need to be quick. Be quick on my feet. You just out of curiosity. Let's uh You know, I'm not going to bother right now. Oh no! All right, here we go. All right, we're making progress. What? What's happening? We've managed to get rid of Safed's cloud armor. why a random small stone was what was needed to actually cause the dragons to die. I assume that it's like a little pokeball and you, they you capture the dragon inside. And I think that's what the orb does. All right. Gill attack versus gill attack. Yes. Just that's the thing about that sucks about having having that space open for or, uh, Dynas. Yes! It's like, one, this is the only time that you can get him in your friends list. Get him in your party. But, um... It causes you to... All right. be down one party member after he's knocked out. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, no! Achilles! Yes! Achilles, I have to save you! I have to save you, Achilles! Oh, no, I have to save myself. Shit. Come on, Achilles. Yes, you got this. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Oh. God damn it. Shit. 
Don't worry about me. Your face just came off. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be fine. No way. Oh my god. Poor Achilles. All right. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Handed to him by Sapid. All right. Do I have anything that can? Yeah, I just have uh, the bare basics, the bare essentials. left of guild do I have? Um, yes! No. I'm like over halfway done. I can say the same of uh... all of my, my herb extract. All right. All right. Oh, we got rid of Stephen. Yay. All right. Yes. Now that we have his guilt. This will be easy. Yes. Come on, Gil. Give me your... Make me shining rain your ass. All there we right. go. Hey. It'll take more than that to stop me. Just a little bit. Right. And we all level up. Everything's all good in the hood. Big gold. me quite a lot of herb extract, but that's okay. the water dragon. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> the irony! Fate plays such tricks to be killed by the sun. Huh? But remember this. There is no future for humanity. Just an endless repetition of fate. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting to die. What did he mean? Killed by the sun? I was killed by the moon.
Uh, this pain. Seyfed, you have fallen. General, strike group reinforcements reporting as ordered, sir. You're late. My apologies, sir. We received some new intelligence which caused our delay. New intelligence? Yes, sir. Uh, Fort Helencia is under attack by the elves and is on the verge of falling. Fort Helencia? So, the dragon was nothing but a decoy. There's more. Sir Gawain is fighting alongside the elves. Uh, go away. <laughs> he was so surprised he lost his face. Should we take Sir Cross to the castle? Um, yes. You do that. I will go straight to Fort Helencia. General, I'm coming with you. No, Jack. You're no longer a knight. It's not your duty. Duty schmooty. Who cares if I'm a knight or not? I'm coming anyway. Gawain owes me! He owes me my father! Very well. <laughs> Do as you Do wish. Me. Thank you, sir. He said duty. Alright, it's daytime now. Reconnaissance squad reporting, sir! Fort Helencia has been completely surrounded by the elven forces. We were unable to contact the fort's defenders. We don't know how much longer they can hold out. No way! We've got to get there fast and help them out! General, let's get going! We don't have much time! Jack. Sir? Let's hear the whole report. Okay. The enemy army is at least as large as ours. If the fort should fall, it will be difficult to win back. That is all, sir. Thank you. You are dismissed. Sir! Anyway, we'd better hurry. The non-humans are going to get control of the fort. We'll be too late. Fort Alencia has most likely fallen by now. Huh? Fort Alencia has long been at the center of human and elf wars. It is an important strategic stronghold. We weakened our defenses by sending troops out after the dragon. They were waiting for just such an opportunity. It seems that the elves and the other non-humans have been planning this war for a long time. We are all blessed by the richness of this world. So why does it always come down to war, eh, Jack? General? But unfortunately, it is a war we must fight if we are to end it. Come on, men! We're going to march on Fort Helencia! I guess they've already taken over the fort. So it seems. Wait up, General! Let me come too! Well, come on then. Sir! This is so wrong. I shouldn't be with these humans. It's been a you long and what time, army, Zane? Oh, and just the human army. It's you! Who's he? The Lion of the West. Otherwise known as Gawain. You must be Jack, son of the Dragon Slayer. Care. You. You're the one. You're the Gawain I've been looking for! 
Jack, stop! <sighs> Stay back, Jack! <laughs> Listen to the general, boy. This isn't a playground. Your pretend sword fighting won't get you far here. Uh... Why? You were once the pride of the knights, but now you fight against us? I am no longer a knight. Explain yourself. Sixteen years ago, you vanished, and now you reappear, leading the non-humans against us. It's my destiny. Huh? Destiny? Yes, that's right. It is the fate that I have been burdened with. Who cares about your destiny? Why did you kill my father? Answer me, Gawain! Ridley! Ridley, we've come to help you! Everyone's waiting for you to come home. Me, and the captain, and your dad. You all right? Yes. Gawain! You give Ridley back to here, or else! Oh. Or else? Or else what? Or else I'll kill you! And then I'll take Ridley home! You've got a real violent streak in you, boy. You must take after your father. All right, then. If you're looking to be taught a lesson, you've come to the right place. You talk the talk pretty good, old man. Let's see what you've really got! Let's brush the leaves to this. Here, just... Come on. Go to town on me. That's what you're supposed to do. You're gonna give me a spanking. Oh yeah. Whip me more, daddy. Hit me with that morning star. I gotta get knocked down a peg. After, you know, killing the wind dragon and everything. I had it coming. I feel like this got really personal while I went to go get tea. But I have to avenge him. I have to avenge my father. I have to avenge my brother. <laughs> Zane be like. Sir Gawain, stop! It's finished! Leave him alone! <laughs> Out of my way, Dinus. <laughs> the way Zane's <laughs> eyes look is like obviously it's uh his face All inside the out. People are suffering now. Suffering it looks like his eyes were like bulging out. Barely even conceived. Do you have any idea, boy? Oh god, that hurt my eyes. That hurt my eye sockets doing that. No. Do course, that again. Yeah. After all, you're the one. It's so bug-eyed. Slays dragons for sport. It never gets old. Have doubts? No, it's just saved by a woman. <laughs> Come back when you're a man. <laughs> Ridley. What's wrong, Ridley? Uh, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Ridley, come back! Don't go, Ridley! Jack, she's gone. But I don't get it. Zane. What's happening to everyone? Lord Zane's hair tube. I don't understand either. POV, you're, uh... Your Zane's hair tube. I see. So Fort Halencia has fallen. Yes, sir. 
Well, yep, that's, we that's pretty much in the hands of the that's enemy. the report. I want you to prepare an assault force to retake the fort as quickly as possible. Right away, sir. At least we defeated the Wind Dragon. It's not a complete disaster. We can still win. Sir. Oh, yes. As for Gawain and Ridley, we'll decide what to do with them when the time comes. They're gonna be executed. It really makes me wonder. Oh, wait. <laughs> You can see through the tube and the... Where am I? Poor little Jack managed to pick up a few scrapes. Who are you? I knew it. I am sorry. It seems you've been hit rather hard on the head. Hey, stupid. I was just joking. Well, well, you've made a complete recovery. Such resilience. Just like a cockroach. Just like a cock. Do I... St oh my god. Do I have um that as a sound command? I feel like I do. Maybe I don't. I don't. I did have... um. I'll like a little thing. Let's see if I can find it. It was that audio clip of him saying like, uh, like such resilience, just like a cockroach. But um, it was cut off. Here, here it is. Such resilience, just like a cock. <laughs> just like a cock. Oh, shut up. You may leave as soon as you're ready. The door is in that direction. What about Cross? Why does he get to stay in bed? Sir Cross received his honorable wounds while battling the Wind Dragon. He needs his rest. What is this? You enjoy playing favorites or something? This is the infirmary of the Royal Radiata Knights. It is not the Monkey House. Ugh! I've had enough! I'm going home. I have never been so disrespected in all my life. Uh, fucking Cross. Wayne. Cross fucking lives here. You get out. Damn you! I think the closest one that I have is... Aren't you hey, gonna suck Uncle my Dan? cock or something? Yes. I heard them say that you used to be a knight. Oh, yes, until very recently, in fact. Although it seems like a lifetime ago now. My dad was a knight too, you know. But a long, long time ago, he had to go on a journey because... You guys remember that from Frog of the Great Quest, right? Is that so? He goes, aren't well, you gonna no, suck my blood or something? Right, just like your father. And just like your father, he left on a journey one and day. And that's and what big cock a doodle do. Really? Yes. Hey, Uncle Gantz. Do all knights go off on long journeys? No. Just because you're a knight doesn't mean you have to go away. So, why do they then? Well, sometimes in life, people find themselves swept up in forces beyond their control. Or into situations that aren't of their own making. Huh? And when that happens, sometimes they are forced to leave the very people they love No, most. only shitty dad knights do. Yes, shitty night dads. just like your father. And my father, too. I don't really understand. But my dad, when he left, he didn't leave because he stopped loving mom and me, did he? Of course not. Where did you get that crazy idea? <laughs> hey, that hurts! Uncle Gant, your whiskers hurt! <laughs> hey, Drew, how's it going? 
Good to see ya. I'm so sorry, Saphid. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Doing well? Good, good. Uh, I'm going to go home and save. That's the next step. check yeah that's probably a good idea Shall hydrate. All right. I wonder if, uh, if I have any Vancouver missions that I need to do. Like I kind of forget, um, like what comes after the safed thing. Let's find out. Oh, first, let's let's put a healer. Pretty. Or maybe we could just put Jarvis. Let's fuck it. Got work for you, kid. Hurry up and take one of these. Okay, so we got alien monster. We stop Horde Star. Real ultimate battle. And that that one. That's the Algandar's Castle one, isn't it? We'll just do like a silly one. Thousand five hundred. Only five hundred. I'm gonna. I want to sleep first. I don't like it when it's nighttime. It makes makes me scared. Hi. Can't see anything. Save and sleep, gang. I think we'll do the Lord Star one, because that one's kind of funny. Goofy little thing. Goofy little mission. Lord Star has taken the stern heirloom from the house, and I'm worried he'll do something foolish with it. Please, stop him. This one, huh? Sebastian? Oh yeah, he's that Star Guy's servant. Seemed like he's worried about old Star, dude. Anyway, go and see what he wants, okay? He's holed up in one of the rooms in the basement here in theater. Got it, I'm on my way.
He's like all the way in the basement. Oh, this is the storage room. He's in here. This is the one. Master Jack, thank you so much for coming. It's about Ward Star. I was with him the whole time. How could I let this happen? Just tell me what happened. I want you to stop Ward Star. Stop him from doing what? Ward Star comes from a very elite and wealthy family, the Stearns. His father loves to collect unusual things. He has many unique suits of armor that are kept as family treasures. And Ward Star took them out of the house. But so what? It's just armor, right? And it belongs to him anyway. I wouldn't be so worried if it was a normal piece of armor. What was that? An earthquake? <sighs> Seems we are too late. What do you mean? Outside, quickly. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is he doing? Lord Star, please come down now. Don't be ridiculous, Sebastian. I have been reborn with new powers. I will have the world in the palm of my hand. Um, I don't really know what's going on. I will start by making Theodore Vancouver my castle. He's dabbing. <laughs> He's gonna take over Theodore Vancouver? Is he out of his mind? Hmm. That is why I don't like the hoi boy. Please stop. Behold my power! <laughs> What's happening? I'm losing control of my body. That's the armor, right? Yes, it is. The suit is controlling him. Yes, the armor can only be worn by those with great strength. It is not something Lord Star can handle. So you want me to stop him, right? Would you mind if I damage the armor? No, but please make sure Lord Star doesn't get hurt. Is that thing gotten in my hero about? Sure. I'm coming to help you. <laughs> You laughed at me. You look like a pup gone wacko. <laughs> Why, you, you, you. You'll stop laughing once I've dealt with you. Right. <laughs> yes! Oh, wait. I need to go back to, uh, to Zane mode. And of Zane. I love how he drops his head. Yeah, there, there we go. He drops his head and then he leans over and picks it up. This is only worth 500. Oh my god! Oh no! That's not fair. Here's, uh, please. And he's dead. It was easy. All right. And we got the robot suit. Good for Jarvis. Oh, that was tough. Lord Star. Is he okay? I'll take care of him. Why don't you go report back? Okay. Hey. Right, here's your fee. Kid, do you like taking these really low-paying jobs? I mean, 
doesn't it kind of tick you off? Well, sheesh, you could warn me before I accept the jobs. Well, you see how much they're willing to pay, Jack. Jack Zane. Haha, <laughs> well, the clients decide the fees. As long as people need my help, I'm happy. The money doesn't matter. Ooh, making like you're Mr. Rod, you got a superhero, aren't you? Yes, sir, I am. I should really stock up on the healing items and stuff like that. That really set me back. Oh no, she's not open yet. Where are their hours? 8.30 a.m. 7 p.m. Okay, and it's like... Yeah. Uh, it should be opening sometime soon. Open up. No, wake up. I need to buy your wares. None of that. There we go. Hello. Just a moment, please, while I open up shop. No, no! Welcome. <laughs> her opening up shop consists of her just putting her hands together. That's it. No stocking shelves, no nothing. Maybe I can get some more, like, no, nah, no, nah, I think I'll be fine. Because the next mission is, uh, it's, um, it's the golem. But I, I think I'll be okay with it. I just wanted to save real quick. Ultimate battle. Sergeant Jack of the Ox Squad, you are invited to a rematch. This time you will see Melissa's true powers. Aha, good timing. Someone asked for you personally. Personally? I guess I'm starting to get famous. Wait a sec. What? You can't turn it down. They asked for you specifically. I'm thinking I don't want to know who put this put in this request. Yeah, it says Ursula. I knew it. A kid in a gate, right? Right. It's not easy protecting a world's greatest title, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I have to face her alone anyway? I keep 
forgetting. I think I'm not allowed to bring my party with me for this. Maybe I'll be surprised though. Maybe she'll let me bring my party. Golem fighting? Yeah. Fight uh, Melissa Mark II. Electric Boogaloo. Alright, a kid in the gate. Here we are. Yes. What do you want? Hi. This is a kid in the gate. It's always left open, just like the other gates. It's not much use. What's a what use is a gate that's always open? What good it is a locker that doesn't lock. Wait, he's late. Um, what is he doing? Did he get scared and run? Um, yes, that has to be it. He got scared, so that's why he's not showing up. Ha 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 ha. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, hello, Jack. Nice of you to come. So, what do you want me to do? I want a rematch. I knew it. I have to defeat you in order to move forward. I was beaten before, but this time I have my ultimate creation. Today you will challenge Melissa Mark II. You should stop now before you get in even more debt. No talking. I paid for you to test the abilities of my golem. So shut up and fight. Alright, alright. So where's the ultimate creation? <laughs> Brace yourself. You'll be beaten this time. Come, Melissa Mark II, my ultimate creation. Is this deja vu? So, if you want to run, it's now or never. Take this time to... Okay, 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 I know. Let's just start the battle. You'll regret this. Attack, Melissa Mark II. Yeah, it's just me and the golem. God damn it. Oh. I missed. How could I miss? That is not cool. I'm wondering if the golem has genitalia or a butt. Why else would they have a loincloth? How dare you? How dare you make me think of golem genitalia? Melissa Mark. Come on, Melissa. All right. Melissa. 
close to the second. Come on. I'm like kind of curious how much health she has left. I also don't really want to waste my analysis ball. Like I don't feel like Melissa Mark 2 is worth it. Come on. And she just keeps on walking away. She's not even attacking. Wessa, I think you're broken. That, that was not nice. That was not nice at all. When she starts to do her cannon thing, that's when I know I gotta run. So cut it out. Just fucking die already. I have to do another. Oh no. Oh no. dead already. Squishy. Come on, Moissa. You and your Tarzan loincloth. Poison? Yeah, maybe. I usually don't use, um, like, things that are supposed to do stuff to enemies because it very rarely works. her set her on fire no way. yeah kind of a waste I could try a different attack with oh, oh shit oh no Attack for Zane. Right, Javelin. Actually, no, I'll do uh, sort of vacuum instead. Ah! Oh, yeah, that does more damage. Ah! That's much better. Much better than my Jevlin. I am Ward Zane. I'm not supposed to be afflicted by anything.
hydrate. Alright, I will hydrate in just a moment. Back to Melissa. You can't hurt me. Oh, well you could hurt me with that. I definitely don't want you to. Oh yeah, there we go. Now she's dead. Just take some time and patience. Got a life berry. No doggles. That's it. I'm ruined. Wiped out. Look, you should quit now for your own good. What's the point of creating an ultimate golem? You seem really bummed out. Well, just make sure you drop off my, the payment at the guild. <laughs> or pay me. I'm leaving. There is no payment. Say what? I can't pay you. I put all of my money into Melissa Mark II. What? I just... I did this for nothing? But I lost. Jack, you truly are strong. I'm really not getting paid for this? Calm down, just go to the storeroom and bear it. There's a box which contains armor, absolute guard. Alright, I'll sell for an item just this once. Bullshit. Is the armor any good? Um, well, the Absolute Guard is a pretty good armor. The thing is, is I'm not going to use it in this playthrough. Because, uh... Because I got the Zane armor on right now. And the Zane armor stays on. will stay. I think, uh, no, I think it's in the others, uh, yeah, no, I have to go to the other tower. I always, I always get the two confused. Morgan. Guten Morgen, Morgan. No, I'm there. Don't go in there. So, like, let's look at the stats for that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use it, but it's got a uh, 71 defense. No element, and it can resist anything. Armor is sealed with various spells. Not only does it afford good defense, it is resistant to all attacks and afflictions. So that's pretty neat. Unfortunately, we are going to stay in Zane's clothes. Actually, no, we're going to we have to go back and uh, report to, to Thanos. And then we can go home and save. Sour candy? Okie dokie. Um, let me see if I can find my candies. I found one. I found the toxic waste. I don't know where the other ones were. Oh, wait. They're down there. Okay, hang on a second. No. Alright, 
so dealer's choice do you want the japanese lemon stuff the uh japanese blue stuff sour patch kids or um toxic waste you want the blue stuff all right let's just set this stuff down Japanese booster. I don't know what else to call it. Yeah. It's a uh... Nice little treat for my palate. Oh. But although it does taste slightly like um detergent. So my camera's out of focus. entertaining yeah for a couple of seconds <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's so funny? Listen, if I knew I'd be doing volunteer work... Hey, relax. You got a reward in the end, right? But what about the next golem? I bet there'll be more. <laughs> That's tough being lucky, huh, kid? Yeah, fuck off. Dickhead. Save time. Right. Oh, my camera's still out of focus. Sorry, right. are you gonna? Okay, there we go. It's back in focus again. <laughs> I think that's all we're going to do for tonight, humans and fellow fairy creatures. This was a great first stream back. Really miss doing this. Looking forward to more streams in the future. Um, I might not... I don't know how often I'll be able to stream between now and the new year. Just because of like holidays and this and that. But I do hope to stream again this coming week. So here's sort of the, the schedule. So, um, tomorrow we're going to be doing movie night instead of our usual doing movie night on Monday night. Because, um, we're going to be doing movie night tomorrow night on Sunday instead of Monday night. We're going to be watching Heidi, the 1937 film with, uh, Shirley Temple. Maybe I'll make a Shirley Temple and who knows. Um, as far as streams go, we're going to play... Hopefully some Twilight Princess on Wednesday. It's been a long, t long time since I last played Twilight Princess. In fact, I think the last time I played was... October... October 19th. So... It will have been... Like, almost two months since I last played it. 
Valkyrie in another save file. Good evening, stay sane. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, movie night tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central. Twilight Princess on Wednesday the 21st at 6 p.m. Central. And you know, we'll, we'll figure things out. As we go along, we'll play it by the year. I'll see if someone's online that we can raid. I always, by default, check to see if somebody is uh, playing Radia Stories. But it looks like I'm the only one. So I think we're going to... I don't know. Maybe we can... Maybe we can uh, raid one of my friends. Hmm. We can raid a veteran cosmic wizard. Sorry, wizard. He's playing Valkyrie Elysium. You know, speaking of Valkyrie. Do you want someone to raid? Um, sure. I mean, like, do you have a suggestion? Are you suggesting someone, Drew? Pan and Alicia. Let's, let's see. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna make sure they're at least, uh, that they're online. Okay, they are online. Okay. Playing Jackbox. All right. So doing a two-year anniversary stream. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. That's um, it's pretty neat. I actually had my uh, two-year uh, affiliate anniversary back in early, early this month, and I was going to do a stream. It was going to be a Radia story stream, but then my computer broke down, so I didn't do that. So yeah, I think yeah, we'll uh, we'll go raid Pandalisha. Let's go say hi to them. It's uh, something new. Say uh happy two year anniversary. Your two your two year affiliate anniversary will be in July of next year, but that's pretty cool. Congrats. Have a good night. This was fun. Thank you for streaming. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for making it a good first stream back. Thanks for all the support and everything. I do appreciate it. I will see you guys tomorrow for movie night. And if I don't see you then, I'll see you on Wednesday for Twilight Princess. See you later, humans and fellow fair creatures. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's good to. I'm glad you got to catch me live. Let's go. Shining raid. Shining raid. Pandalisha. Anyway, take care, humans and fellow fair creatures. I will see you next time. Good night.